The fever rolls into week four tonight. It's Elba against Brantley in class 1A, a big battle down in the Wiregrass, and that's where we find WSFA 12 sports reporter Jamal Kennedy, who's standing by with the head coach of the Bulldogs. Jamal, how's it going? Hey, Sally, the sun just kind of peeked out through the clouds there, so excuse the beads of sweat on my face, but yeah, a big five matchup like you mentioned here in 1A, Elba and uh, the Brantley Bulldogs. I'm joined by Roland Jones, the head coach of these Brantley Bulldogs. Coach, first of all, thank you so much uh, for, for taking the time to do this with us. Um, the matchup tonight, I mean, what can you say? What do you expect about this atmosphere here tonight? Well, I mean, it should be a good atmosphere. Uh, had, had, you know, both teams have been good in the past, and Elba's got a great football team, and you know, they got Alvin Henderson and everybody in the state, or matter of fact, in the country knows about Alvin Henderson. So, you know, it's it's uh, exciting for our kids to be playing in something like this. And, uh, you know, it should be a good atmosphere. Elba has a very good football team. Uh, they, they bought into the system and they're really doing a, a really good job. The coaching staff, Coach Steven, he, uh, it's unbelievable what he's done with this bunch. And these guys play together and, and uh, you know, we got some things that we got to work on. We got a couple this out. Uh, our quarterback broke his foot earlier in the year, and uh, actually yesterday was an exciting day. He got his boot off, and he's got his shoe on now. So he's two or three weeks out, and then we have a couple that's banged up that won't get to experience this, but the other ones are ready to go. Yeah, Jaden Parks is the, the kid you're, you're referencing who just got the boot off. Very talented. We've seen him on the basketball court, the baseball field, of course, the football field. And you mentioned Alvin Henderson. Of course, <laughs> I got to ask you about him. You said it's, you don't really stop him, but you can only hope to, to slow him down. Well, uh, I, I think the only way we can slow, slow him down is he don't get on the bus. <laughs> now, I'm just joking. Now, he, he's a very talented football player. Uh, you know, we got some things that we got to try to do. We got some guys that, that we're putting in situations to try to you know, to try to get it where we can slow him down a little bit. But they got some other players that are really good. Quarterback Johnson does a great job. Uh, uh, they got uh, Atkins kid at the running back who does a great job, who offsets Alvin a little bit and, and makes him better. But he, he's, he's phenomenal. He's one of the best I've seen in a long time, and I've been doing it for many years. And uh, it's unbelievable what he can do with the football. Well, Coach Jones, your team's won two straight games, and of course, you're looking to win a third straight game tonight. Uh, we'll talk to Coach Seaving from the Elba Tigers tonight at 6. You'll hear from him, but uh, kickoff is at 7. We'll have the highlights tonight on the Fever Sally. We'll send it back to you there in the studio. Looking forward to all your coverage. Thanks, Jamal.